What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Detroit to Become Human. In the last episode, we may have initiated a civil war in the United States, in Detroit specifically, of course. I don't know if that was the right decision. Feel free to let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious on what you guys have done or what you would have done differently. Please let me know. But we have uh, about an hour before I do the Sky Factory 4 live stream today. So I figure let's just continue on and see what happens next. Back to Connor, talk to Amanda. So we realized in, I believe two episodes ago that Amanda may just be a manifestation in our subconscious because we did learn that she is deceased. She is no longer living. So I'm assuming that this whole Zen Garden thing is just our like subconscious state. It's it's basically something that we just made up and it's kind of like our purgatory, I guess. Maybe that's not the right word for it. But let's see what Amanda has to say. Maybe we can uh, use, use what we now know to uh, try to get some answers from her. Just standing on the ice. After today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Uh, I thought Kamsky. Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. And he was just hiding it. But you chose not to ask. Um, old. Kamsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. Um, Amanda's picture. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. Uh, That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Um, this place. Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Um, secret. You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Well, it's already happening, unfortunately. <laughs> Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. Amanda, I need this more from chance, you, girl. Connor. Yeah, it's like every time we do a reboot or something, we have a conversation with Amanda. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Pink, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. Not I know about we the can androids, solve it. It's about the case now. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. Honor's it's out. Over. I ain't going back, though. If there's an option, I ain't going back. <laughs> no <laughs> thanks. I will move in with Hank. We will solve this case together. He doesn't like me anyway, so yeah, it's probably a good thing I didn't say anything to him. All right, Hanky Panky, it's gonna be okay, dude. Listen, I got a sleeping bag. I got a pillow. I, actually, I don't even need to sleep, so that's great. We can just move in, we can be roomies. I like your dog, Sumo's pretty nice. Um, frustrated. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? No. I have no choice. Better have a choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? That's my dude right there. I know we're on the right side. Oh, Christ. Hang on. <laughs> I... I didn't mean to press that button. I did not mean to press that button. Uh, confirm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna get a rebuttal on this.
All right, Hank, as I mentioned previously, I got a sleeping bag, I got a pillow. I don't even need to sleep, actually, so let's do this thing. We're roomies now. <laughs> uh, frustrated. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and I'll analyzed. Be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. Like we've seen this before. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Uh, regrets. When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. Uh, troubled. I don't know why I did it. Um, Hank's secret. I know there are things that haunt you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all I know what to do. There's no we just choice. killed Perkins. You heard FBI's Fowler. off the case. Off the case. <laughs> You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Hank's like, all right. The basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Take key from Hank's desk. Take it. Let's go. To the basement. Perkins, this way. You fucking cocksucker. <laughs> oh, I love Hank. <laughs> Gonna cost him his badge? I don't think Hank cares at this hey, point. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? Uh, home. I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. <laughs> Prick. I hate that guy. I hate that guy. I do. He's a garbage human. Whoa. The evidence room looks intense, dude. All right, let's see what we got. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? I got this. I got this. Oh, <laughs> never mind. It's gonna give us options. Uh, let's do three. Fucking password. Obviously. <laughs> God dang it! I'm gonna have to bleep that out, aren't I? Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not on him. Not much time. Maybe on this bad. one. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Needed for reactivation. Needed. Functional bio components. Statuette, RA9. What was this? The truth is inside. What was it trying to tell me? 
about Marcus. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. Marcus, where are you hiding? Is this really all the evidence we have in the statuette? It's not much. Oh! There's something inside of the statuette! Somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. Okay. What do we got over here? This is Daniel. Daniel was the first one. Alright, Daniel, you're looking a little creepy there, bub. Uh, let's just, let's just take all of them, right? I need that. I need, oh, well. I got four minutes remaining! Install his new earpiece, alright. He's almost there. All right, we're wasting time looking into his dead eyes. It's dark. Yes. Where... Where am I? Um, direct. I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Well... Blew that. We're gonna scan his memory. God dang it. Every time. Every time there's one like that, I royally screw it up. Okay. Here we go. Give me some. Jericho located. Got it. Nailed it. The deed is done. It looks like someone's been snooping around. Get the alarm! Now! Well, all right. Last chance, Connor. Wow, there are a lot of different routes we could have taken. All right, let's continue on. We are... to Kara, I believe. Yes! Okay, finally, we're gonna figure out what happens with Kara, Luther, and Alice. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Oh my god. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. How much longer? Is Alice sleeping? Yeah, she's snoozing. Let's play some sick beats. Bump it. With all androids. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Blackouts? People Maybe are getting blackout drunk? Our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's what I wanted to do. All right, we have arrived, apparently. Dude, I'm trying to get one of these autonomous cars. Those things are freaking sick. All right, what's the word, Bert? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. What? It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. How does she know about Marcus? You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. I'm so confused. How does she know about Jericho and Marcus? Let me know when you make it over there, all right? I have so many questions. And be careful. <laughs> oh, well, Take I guess care. we're on our, on our own now. But we got our boy Luther. I ain't scared of anything. Small girls. Better not hang around. All 
Oh, and now we're back to Connor. What? Connor's trying to find Jericho, too. We've done this before. Many, many a time now. Oh my god, dude. So, are they all gonna meet up, finally? We're gonna have a little family reunion. They didn't actually realize they were family, though. Pretty dope. Alright, let's just wander on over to here, I suppose. Say what's goody. Hey, peeps, I like your trucks. Y'all got the goods? Alright, back to Connor. No, we're just on board now. Holy cow, dude. When we first came here, there was like a handful of people. There's a literal army now. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. extremely alarming. They're conducting raids across the city. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. He's opening the enemy towards you. To think this fucker was watching over my kids? They rushed the police in there. They slaughtered them. Those pigs are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. All right, Alice. Should be as good a place as any. Got a nice warm fire over here. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. You running a fever? Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. I'm listening. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. No! I'll be S back. Stop it! Stay with Alice. Kara, for the love of God, can you listen to Luther for once? That's the second time now. You're just like, nah, don't care what you have to say. And now we're back to Connor. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets to Doesn't catch anyone's attention. And threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting. Let's go up there and talk to Kara. Are we about to pretend our name's Marcus? You're lost. looking for yourself. That's accurate. What was her name again? I can't remember. And back to Kara. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. Where is With Marcus anyways? With all being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools oh, are closed. there's dude bro. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two Here we go. Of their can personnel, which consisted of specialized Android models. Hi, Marcus. You haven't met us before, but we know Are you. you. Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another Android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the Androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. No! You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Um... She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. I... I don't know if it's that simple, but sure. It's I us. suppose that works. We destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was... Return to Alice, kids. okay. They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those yeah, we rushed, we rushed the police because... Alice. 
Uh, um. What? Are you joking? You beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You I can't believe other. that. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? No. I'm just really surprised. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. I mean, it's in Kara's programming to... Maybe that's what it means to be alive. You know, care for a child, it's in... Alice's programming, apparently, now we know this, to be cared for by a mother, so... I mean, it makes sense! Hey, why can't I... Why can't I talk to her? Oh, that's not even Alice! Oh! Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. Alice is actually over here. That was just a, a similar model. She should still be back over here. Right? Yeah, Luther, you might just want to scooch here for a sec so I can, you know, chat it up with Alice. Make sure we're still on good terms. Even though now we know she's also an android. Kara, is there something wrong? Hug. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. That was a little... That was a little weird. Forever. Also, why did Alice's dad have a fake daughter? I really, I have so many questions now, going back to like the very beginning, from the very first episodes of this series. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe they had like a little girl from the beginning. And then her mom actually did leave, place. and then he got it. I don't know. Down, man. And there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. Slaughtering. Our None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Determined. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war. But I'd rather die free than live as a slave. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. They were gonna shoot us, though. Again, they wouldn't know that. I still don't even know that. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Um... Dialogue. Dialogue. This is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. I hate having to juggle between so many different people. North wants death and destruction, so does the other dude, and then Josh is just like, no, man, just talk to him. Just talk to him. Uh, sad. Is this what we dreamed of? 
They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it and to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our That's people will disappear dope. forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, I, I hope we never have to use it. I don't have to use it, right? Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that. That you what? You. That you're really? You came on pretty strong there, and then you backed off. Could have just, could have just said it. It's cool. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go in for the old smoocheroony. Uh huh. Just what everyone wants to see: two robots making out. <laughs> exactly why I didn't really care for the Eden Club. It just really, it really freaked me out, man. I'll go join the others. Alright. Good talk. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. God, man, I'm, I'm kind of getting hit in the feels with that. Now I'm not sure if I want to go sacrifice my body. Ah, uh, we'll see. Hopefully it ends up being alright. Oh. And there's Connor. Hey, bud. Amanda. I need well, so many more answers from you, girl. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Uh, actually, I just want to have a chat. I ain't trying to, like, take him captive or anything. No! No, 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 no. Stop, Marcus! I'm in order to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Um... What's the reason? What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Uh, instructions. You're coming with me! Convince. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than I'm that. I'm trying to flip Connor, but I don't know no, how to. more than that. Um, I know you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Um, say nothing. Uh, so doubts. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you something more than your program uh question have you never wondered who you really are i'm really hoping just a machine executing a that program, connor can can come to terms with this and just be like okay, yeah okay i'm with you now you know i think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question we'll see it's time to decide. Marcus is pretty good at talking himself out of being killed, I'll tell you that much. Uh, become a demon. It must be done. Oh, now we just got a button mash, all right. Uh, 
I hope this is a good move. I don't... There's no instruction book for this. Just put the gun down, Connor. Put it down and be like, yeah, we're cool. Amanda betrayed. I don't care. They're going to attack Jericho. What? That's not good. We have to get out of here. Shit. Oh my god. Okay. Time to go. Time to go. Rally the troops. We got to dip. What's going on, Cap? We got to dip right now. Quick, we've got to get out of here. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. Oh god, this is not good. Wait, how did the FBI find out about Jericho? Connor didn't give him any leads. Dip, dip, just dip. The corridor over there. Follow me. This way. Quick. Oh my God. It is this sort way. of reassuring knowing that uh, Alice is not actually a little girl. Come that makes me feel quick. a little bit better. <laughs> but also, like, why was she pretending to be? Oh, come on, just run. Why was she pretending to be a little girl? Arthur! No. No. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. Uh. Message. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Simon and Josh. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Well, we Jericho. have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Oh, that's not good. All right, I guess we're going down. Oh. You okay? This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Honestly, you were kind of on your deathbed from the beginning, to be real with you. Like, that sucks that you're a goner, but you know what I mean. Okie dokie, that's not good. Uh oh. Find their leader. Uh oh. That's, that's Marcus. Thank you for any trouble at all. Affirmative. Welcome. All right, we gotta go, dude. Wait, lollygagging. It's too late, Captain. Save yourself. Save Alice. No, we're not gonna leave you behind. Help Luther. What do you do? I won't leave you. Clara, no. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. Oh my god, Luther. Don't, leave you, Luther. don't be a hero. Don't worry. I'll catch him through the board. This is intense, dude. It, is this the finale? Because it's kind of feeling that way. Alright, we got a dip. We got a dip. Sorry, Luther. We'll miss you, dude.
Wow. Dude, I would be freaking out. All right, Marcus is also hiding. Oh. Okay. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Later. No, please don't kill us. Intervene. God, Marcus is so dope. Now, hurry. Okay. That doesn't look good. Uh, let's see. Climb. Look out! Here they come! Don't move! Oh my god. We surrender, don't shoot! These people. We're going. We're going. We can't save everyone. Josh, uh, yeah, he we have to intervene on for sure. Oh, almost button mashed. We're good. We're all good. Everything's everything's chill. We're chilling. This way. Find north. I'll join you later. Over there. Way up. We're safe, Alice. Well, I wouldn't say safe. Um, play dead. Get down! Don't move. Please don't kill me. I have to. Let's get out of here. Just walk away. All right, now dip. For the love of God, dip. Quick, we gotta go. All right, back to Marcus. I believe we're about to go boom boom. <laughs> go move. Uh oh. Go and join the others. Oh, there's two of them. There's three of them. God, the fight scenes are so intense, dude. I, I can't talk during this. It's, it's almost impossible. All right, activate. Got to do it. Armed. Okay. Now can we make our escape? Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. And we got to meet up with the rest of Jericho. That's pretty sick. I'm pretty happy about that. Oh no. Oh no. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Nope. Holy. 
three hail. on the fun now. Impressive. I guess his deviancy really paid off in the end. Nice. Run quick. Come on. Oh, wow. All right. They're just going into the frozen waters. Sure. Woo! There she go. There she go. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's not over, Marcus. I mean, it's over. For you, anyways. I hope it's not over for us. But man, that was pretty intense, I think. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wind things down here. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.